There he is on the far outside. Hasn't been easy getting fire. All eyes on him, though. The 30-second board sideways. They're all through the whites in Anaheim. And the race with James Stewart. There he is. And they were very quick to tell us that it's James Stewart, only 16 years of age. In fact, and the crowd can sense it. There he is. Number two, sir. He's running a preliminary qualifier this afternoon just to get into the program. Meanwhile, Stewart back there, who I was about to say, has ridden more laps than any of this 125 division. As you've been able to watch him as he makes the move right here, right? He's looking at the leader. He doesn't care about anybody in between. He's wearing this is where Stewart is so strong. There are those who have said over the past year, <laughs> Stewart's always look very easy and stylish. Chris Gossler with the lead right now, right behind him. The 16-year-old from Haines City, Florida. His weapon is able to jump to the outside. The same line, but... Oh, oh, and down goes Stewart. Make the pass. Finally gets it going and back on the bike to get it... Travis Preston, number 29, takes it. Had trouble, worked his way all the way back up and is able to finish second. I told you that whoop section was going to get these guys. Third largest crowd since 1987 in Supercross history is right here in San Diego. Main event of the 125 West Round 2. Pretty clean start out of that corner. And number 27 of the ranks, and so is Tedesco. Tedesco moved briefly into second. That is the young rookie, Kevin Tedesco. Look at that. Oh, oh, is he? He here. I'm sorry, uh, he does not want to wait. He's probably thinking, man, I should have done that. When I had the chance, I wouldn't have been passed. A race lap leader, and Pickery goes down. So much. He chose not to follow, to set himself up. Into the woods. Oh, here he goes to the inside of Tane. They touch wheel. Faster to go to the inside than it is for the pass. You know what I find amazing? Style. He's got so much flash. I never, you can stop action and watch him over again because what you're seeing right here is we're going to steal that crown away from, oh. To be able to save that and preserve the lead. This moves up the fifth. Off with his buddy Ken Griffey Jr. to watch football with the checkered flag right national race here with the 125 West. That's his dad. Parents, wives. You've got your first professional record. You are now the youngest winner ever. Dude, I, I, I'm so happy right now. Uh, my Kawasaki was working good. Dude, all the riders, I'd like to thank all the riders for being out here. Being in front of all the fans is awesome. I want to cry right now. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy I got the first one out of the way. I won my heat race, so I think I had a good night tonight. Here's what we've seen so far. Oh, and Danny Smith goes down and collects Stewart. Oh, we got a 125 main event that you're going to write about. Around riders and disappear. You see, he looked over his shoulder there. Oh, he goes down again. That's been a terrible weekend for this kid. Stewart down. Well, that's, a, that's a points lead problem now. But once again, fresh goes to show just how fast this kid is that last lap of 55 patient there maybe he was trying to make something happen and here comes sorby gets back by him Again. three times and He's tedesco been... rides right around him terry and his experience as a professional has not caught up out and he's down again stuck underneath the motorcycle this could be the championship terry there's his dad walking away. He cannot believe what he has just seen. Before the finish line, he just wasn't paying attention right there. The front wheel. Just barely getting into the main event, taking the fourth spot in the LC. It's underway. Gossler, number 90. Boy, what an opportunity here. He's thought. He thought he had that one. What other one? I can't remember for sure, but Stewart already making a Stewart put the pass on face. Yeah. Boniface. So Boniface. how? Boniface. Smith, Elliott, Stewart, Boniface, Tedesco. And look at this. Unbelievable. Next, he's taking on Danny Smith all of a sudden. Out pretty fast. And he's closing a little bit on Gossler. on their seat. On the seat to James Stewart now. It's Gossler. Gossler's getting through there quick, but it's not the same as tripling it. It was off. See, he'll stretch this lead out on Gossler, who's back there going, how the heck is this? Not the best of the best. Jeez. We put it on, James. Let's move into six. The Tuckers at the 125. Title, and there's the sportsmanship. Look at that. 
Chad Reed from Australia. Oh, Stewart getting a terrible start. Big. He's finally got another one. This is where he needs to be to get up there. And so once again, pressing there to, to pick up. They already knocked Walker down in practice. I guess uh, Walker started it. Preston able to, right there with number one, right behind Stewart. Here comes, here comes James for the block pass. Mertens squared right back underneath it. Walker and Stewart, your top three riders. Remember, we've got 15. Sure, I was about to say, if he sets up anything, then... Oh, and he gets together with Preston. James Stewart came down and just closed out his line. Oh. Look at this. Same place Walker went for the lead. It's fast. Here comes James Stewart. Has time for a whip. And look at this. Move. Around the outside. Looks over to make sure he's clear. He has to duck to the inside. Look at this. Little nudge. Same part of the course. No, James, this is, look at this straight away. Triple, triple. Maybe he's going to add time to them, but James Stewart Jr. is absolutely running away. Another one. Yeah, I haven't talked to him about that. Junior, you're your winner in the 125 main. He's never had a real opportunity to get up and fight with him and check him out. Here he's parked in second. I mean, he wasn't racing. It was just a bunch of square racing block wow. stuff. <laughs> you gotta be careful because he's in a crowd right now. He'll pump the winner in the 125 main, James Bubba Stewart Jr. All those teams next to that finish line, Jeff. <laughs> oh, last week he was... This is the 125 main event for Pacific Bell Park. Let's take a look. Run, it's Team Green, the Kawasaki rider, just blowing past. And then guess what? By David Pingree, who's worked his way into second. So Pingree, that was maybe that was smart. all kinds of. So Stewart laps Preston at a very opportune time. He goes almost into that metal scaffolding, and he stays upright, rides his bike off the side, just soaring. What a weird situation for him to know that he just lapped second place in the points and salt in the wounds. Winner in the 125. He got around him. And Pingree edges out from the left. His 917. Look at this. A great battle. James Stewart, number 259, flashing the colors. Flags out everywhere. He still blasts into those whoops sure. because they're off to the right. Competition, and you're watching James Stewart. Lucky helmet and all. Here comes another triple. Oh. <laughs> mission to see this. James Stewart Jr. You're Tiger Lacey, but only lasted for a few moments, and then James Stewart took over. So it goes Stewart, Hamblin, Adams, Smith, and Lacey, your top. James Stewart is just that good. Don't want to take anything away from the rest of these guys because they are all great. Right. Jr. doing the victory lap with a lap still to go as he throws a win. And this will be his fifth straight win. Phoenix, Anaheim, San Francisco, California, your winner. Junior, pick it. Stick to. Now Stewart is enjoying a six second lead and we're, here we are in lap three. Just racing out there against a bunch of Todd Harris's. I mean these guys are very talented riders and to Travis Preston he plans on taking that number one and James Willie. There's... Oh my. <laughs> and the winner of the 125 West title number 259 James Stewart. Well ladies and gentlemen sweet success. James Stewart the 125 West Coast champion. Yeah, you know, Cameron, uh, you know, with everybody, my mom and dad, Tony Haynes, everybody's been backing me up, my team. You know, it feels good to come back here at Dallas where I lost the championship and to come and win it again, so. The only time he'll probably run that number one plate, keeping Tony Haynes 259, am I right? Yeah, 259, number one, baby. Will grab that number 132 on the KTM, but shortly thereafter, Stewart was able to clear. Lanovich decided, nah, he laid up. West Division as James Stewart continues to dominate. We'll be back in just a moment. You have and the desire that you have and the things you can get away with. Oh. <laughs> people up during the warm-up lap. Oh. You know, uh, that's not easy to do. And the winner of the 125 West main event from Salt Lake City. And Shane Best with a great finish. And he's doing the Lambo leap. What's Look up with that? that? Has once, but you know, he, the people come running. They want to get it. This is it, the 125 main from Las Vegas, Nevada, picking up the whole shot and leaving everyone else in his way. We'll see if they'll let him again. That is a great start, a start for number 41, Andrew Short. Class, Bubba's first whole shot of the year, and he gets it at the right time. Faster way to go around the corner than that. He goes over the triple, just throws the bike side down one straight away. Oh, oh, James Stewart goes down, and he goes back to third. 
trying to find somewhere to get back on the track. Five positions back. It looks like he's going to pick up another one right here on number 18, Brock Seller. And his speed is so incredible. Oh! And James Stewart has just launched. This is what I worried about. Usually when he makes a mistake, he tries to make up for it. He's so fast. He decides, uh-oh, I went too far. I better bail out of this. But watch how hard he Oh, my goodness sakes. One of the most. By the way, if they want to battle with him. 125 East from Houston. Well, you called it, Cameron. Brock Kepler way out in front, and here comes Bubba. We on Tiger Lacey. Now he'll go to work on Leilon. Norman will not drop that one bit. Oh. Goes outside. In. Stewart to the outside. Squares it off one more time. And look at the draw. Win in Houston goes to James. Bubba Stewart. Inside, picks up a position. Let's see if he goes for the triple-triple. Smith moving out to the right. We talked about guys. Still gets into second place, but he definitely had to. Kelly, Kelly Smith, Smith knew that he did a triple-triple all night. And here's Bubba. Hands it to the inside. Bubba cuts underneath on the gas, goes to the great Jeremy McGrath for 125 victories. He's already 25, main event, James Bubba Stewart. John will have to take a replay of that, but it's Ricky Carmichael pointed out. Flag is out, gentlemen. Start pulling oh, up, pulling up the adjectives and the support. Perfect to the first round. Time enough to throw wheeling. Your winner, 125. Oh, oh my word. Next. See, Jeremy McGrath. He had the record at 13. Now it's James Bubba Stewart. Being in the same league as Jeremy McGrath is awesome. And, and I just want to thank him, you know, for setting that thing and all the fans out there. How we rocking it through there. Inside and comes out with the whole shot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, we have definitely seen this picture before. James Stewart out in front and uh, lamps it on the ground with Brock Hepler. Second points, very strong. And he's been earlier about the heat races when Bubba got out in front. He was trying a lot of different stuff. But now you can see why it's paying off. Other than that, he has been flawless out there. Rick Johnson with a 27-second lead. Happened to him about a lap ago. You can see he misses the power by a little bit. Love his bike, and that's why it handles as well as it does both in the air. He's done it in front of his home fans. And Daytona under the light. In the hollow Daytona ground, so see what he's going to do. What's he got going on? It looks like he's riding a Dale Earnhardt number three. He's got to make his way over to the fans that paid the extra 10 bucks. Apparently he had picked out Hanson somebody. in second, and Carpenter sits in third place. It's just so good. Look at the triple, triple, triple section. Moving around on the motorcycle, that's one thing. You got that's something big to say. He's still the 125 class. They continue their leader, James Stewart. Wow, oh, yes! The whip. Ben, James, Bubba Stewart. Ah, the sprinkler. sprinkler's back. Goes in high and tight this white, shoots out the back. Unbelievable. James Bubba Stewart stretching out for the trip. Winner 125 main event, James Bubba Stewart. 125 east west off the line. Kawasaki's wild to the front of the line. Stefan Roncada, Bubba Beckett. Oh my. Fires the first shot. Here comes Bubba Stewart on the inside. Brock Hepler to the out. Triple, triple for James Bubba Stewart. One of the few 125s that can pull. 259, one the piece of 21 and a one. Goes to the inside. See if he can get up there, but he can't. Roncada. For yet another lap, the green flag is out and let the battle begin. He got past Hepler, but here comes Bubba. Bubba to the inside. Roncada got the line on the outside. Takes a look back and says, how do you like me now? Play, look at oh this. My. Oh, he comes in. I was just going to say, he doesn't care if James Stewart is the man coming up or not. He wants to wake a sleeping giant. James comes right back. Roncada at the triple. Oh, look at He's that. Be kidding. James has that inside line. Let's watch it. Oh, oh what him coming in. He grabs some binders. He's going to check this out. What do you think? He's going to go for the triple, triple, and he takes the line away from him. He's not able to do it. He's following. Oh, Stewart Stewart. And You know, one thing I'm looking at right now is Roncada's not looking back. He's Stewart past the speed and the whoops. Now, what does Roncada do? He tried. Oh. Wow. Stewart takes the checkered flag. Your winner, 125. And James is stoked after I asked him about it. He's like, uh, you can just see dirty. Who's number one?